along the southeast coast of Nigeria, Rivers State occupies an area of 21,850 square kilometers, of which two-thirds is in the important Niger Delta geographical terrain. Rivers State is the heart of Nigeria's oil and gas sector and is reinvesting its natural resource wealth into building communities and the place where everybody can live and work in harmony. Our logo says rivers of possibilities, you know, and it just tells you what River State symbolizes, that it's a land that has so much potential. The things you experience coming from Port Harcourt is unique, like you don't experience it anywhere else really. You meet lots of people, the native dish, the restaurants, 
nightclubs. There's so much going on here. You are open to a lot of a lot of surprises. Gilgas man is a hospital woman. He's generous and very welcoming. We are always welcome to River State. We are a very vibrant city. There's more opportunities economically. We're doing well, and you know, so we're just really excited about the changes happening in River State. There's something attractive about Potaka. This is the land of a thousand masculines. This is the land where we have a thousand ways to say welcome. This is my city, you know. This is my life. I love this place. Every country has certain cities that cause the country as a whole to move forward. In Nigeria, Port Harcourt is one of those cities. It's a land full of opportunities. It has a lot of untapped potentials. Everything is possible in River State, as long as you can dream it. Port Harcourt, River State is the destination of tomorrow. Whether it's a city to be, I think it's a city that you would always remember. The government has demonstrated a clear vision and determination to promote the development of the estate and provide a better quality of life and a brighter future for River State citizens. I don't know which one is biggest, but there are so many improvements. There are improvements in the area of education, in the area of, I've mentioned the area of agriculture. There are improvements on uh, employment, actually. We would also have wood roads, 24-hour power supply, the new hospital we are trying to build. We have one of the best dental hospitals in the world. Uh, then we have the 140 health centers, primary health care centers. It's that kind of change that you see occurring. And then you're seeing our primary schools, state-of-the-art primary schools, replicated across the state in the 23 local government areas because the governor believes in being able to have an education system that is functional and that can compete with anyone, anywhere else in the world. And one source of moving this country forward is education. If you don't have it, you are in trouble. As at the last time, this government had created over 35,000 jobs, new jobs, direct employment. Also the Venture Capital Fund, which is created to grow SMEs and to encourage um, new businesses to come in. I mean, in terms of manpower, you have three universities here, you've got two airports, you've got two seaports. Think about the fishing culture here. Aquaculture is a great business opportunity. How about marine transportation? So there's so many things. That's why we say it's got numerous potentials, untapped potentials. Opportunities. Anything is possible in River City. We have the highest number of uh, creeks in the world. As you maneuver the water, you can get as many investment opportunities as you see. So when it says rivers of possibilities, you start seeing that there are layers and layers of opportunities. Well, Africa is a virgin market to invest in education, in technology, in infrastructure development, or other non-oil sector. In the area of agriculture, we're doing phenomenal work. I've uh, looked at how we create wealth through the River State Sustainable Development Agency. Yeah, the River State Sustainable Development Agency was established um, about uh, six years ago. Uh, primarily to refocus development effort in the state around the issues of poverty alleviation, uh, grassroots development and youth empowerment. The agency is involved in about three key areas at the moment. Uh, the first one is in human capital development and basically what we do there is to um, provide opportunity for young rivers uh, uh, people uh, to train in some of the best institutions of higher learning across the world. And uh, the objective there is to build a solid manpower base. We have in training something like 2,000 young persons um, who are spread across 10 countries. They train in some of the best universities in those, uh, in those countries. It's a very huge and expensive you know, project. But, you know, it's one that we believe is a major investment as well for the future of the state. Second area is agricultural development. Again, our objective in agricultural uh, intervention is um, to use agriculture as a vehicle 
for creating employment, uh, for uh, sustainable livelihoods, um, to provide demonstration, research, and ways that young persons can see that through agriculture you can actually establish a big business and you can create jobs. The third area is job creation. And uh, what we are doing is support the vision of the government in using things like vocational training, building small and medium enterprises, um, and other forms of entrepreneurial support you know, to, to create opportunities for young persons to either find jobs or to create uh, jobs for themselves and for others. Now the way Port Harcourt was conceptualized was as a West African port, and it's still pretty much it. So you've got a state that is open to everybody from everywhere. So it's almost like the next destination point. A river state provides that kind of opportunity. Any kind of business entrepreneurs, they know this. You take the best from different places. You go out, you bring the best talent from different places and you make it work within the locality and the community. Kinabuti actually was born in Port Harcourt and he taught me that dreams can be a reality. Basically, it was the idea of utilizing fashion as a vehicle for empowerment. And we've been working there now for like uh, three years. And, uh, and we've done several projects. We always had at, uh, in our focus women, empowering women. So we started with uh, training uh, girls uh, to be models. And that was in 2010. But still down the line, these girls, they're still working. They're making money for the family. They're supporting the family. So from that project, we moved into like seal screening. We taught single mothers. Uh, and then we moved into sanitation exercises, picking up rubbish in the communities. And the last one that we did was teaching women how to sew clothes. They definitely hope in a better you know, future, in a better, in a better tomorrow, and in a better today. Everything that was done was done in collaboration. In Abudu was part, you know. But then there were the communities, then there were the sponsors, then there were the other people that came on board, then there was the government. When you put a positive energy into something, something positive will come out. I'm happy that we have done all our projects in River State, and we're happy that we managed to achieve different results, but we look forward to more. And what we want to do essentially is to transform the natural resources, the cultural heritage, and you know the natural hospitality of our people into a globally recognizable you know brand. Port Harcourt is a melting pot of sorts. I think River State is the most cosmopolitan state in the country. We are energetic people, very welcoming people, always looking for um, you know, people to visit. There are so many sites, so many things you can see. We have the cultural you know, heritage sites, we have good food, the nightlife, the landscape, the connection with the streams and rivers, the art community. For every artist, where you stay, it's the influence in your art. It's part of what you do. My art is my story. So growing up here has uh, influenced my art a lot. We do have a rich cultural heritage. We're very proud of that. Port Harcourt is World Book Capital 2014. It's a nomination given by UNESCO to a city of the world every year. It is an endorsement on the international stage of the incredible work this administration has done in education, the focus on education. We know that literacy is a building block for any strong society, and it is in the year that Nigeria turns 100, so 2014 is special. The World Book Capital nomination is an honor, not just for the city of Port Harcourt, but indeed for Nigeria and the entire continent of Africa. Kane River is Africa's largest street festival and one of its biggest tourism attractions. An amazing display of cultural traditions and spectacular events. A colorful celebration of life that reflects the vibrant soul of the state. You can feel the impulse of the people. You can feel the, you know, the, the pulse of the city. 
The nightlife never ends in Potako. You just do it and you find people from outside asking, how do you guys do it? Don't you guys ever sleep, you know? You go out in Potako, you go clubbing, it's always fun. It's fun, it's crazy, it's something new comes up every time, so the people keep up, you know, people stay up. That's the magic of Port Harcourt City. Port Harcourt also plays host to some of the country's best hotels, among which the Presidential Hotel stands out. The hotel's five-star status is reflected through its modern and functional rooms, top-class restaurants and exceptional attention to detail. Centrally situated within the business districts and the main shopping areas of the city, it's an ideal choice for both leisure and business travellers. A perfect destination for every guest. One thing I know is this. Nigeria is a land, as a whole, is a land of opportunities. You can't go wrong with Nigeria. And one thing I am absolutely certain about is that when you look at Nigeria as a whole, come into River State and you will find that the opportunities in River State are even more than you would believe. I can assure you River State as an investment destination is one you can't go wrong. With enormous reserves of crude oil and natural gas, River State accounts for more than 40% of Nigeria's crude oil production. Additionally, there are many petrochemical related industries in the state which also harbors the first petroleum refinery in Nigeria. River State, as everyone knows, has a huge amount of oil and gas. And we've seen a lot of changes happen over the last, I would say, 12 years. You find a lot of indigenous companies that have begun to come into the oil and gas space, not just coming into the retail aspect of selling petrol at the forecourt, but now going into the exploration aspect of it and actually working hands-on as operators and developing that aspect. Rivers also plays host to Nigeria's gigantic liquefied natural gas project located in Bonn. Since the Oni oil and gas-free zone was officially opened, it has gone from strength to strength. More than 30 international oil and gas companies, including many of the world's largest corporations, are now registered as free zone users, strengthening Nigeria's position as sub-Saharan Africa's leading oil producer. Bristow Helicopters is a major player in the Nigerian oil and gas industry and has been in operation for more than 40 years, delivering a safe, reliable, efficient and friendly service. When the governor came to power, the first thing that was done was to engage local professionals, to work with international professionals, to carry out a study of the city of Portacot, see how the city was growing, and come up with a master plan. Described as out of this world, the Greater Port Harcourt City Initiative is an amazing project that will reshape the river's landscape. The objective is to build a well-planned, world-class city internationally recognized for excellence that will attract both tourists and investors, providing first-rate infrastructure and quality services to enhance the standard of living and well-being of the river's people. We've tried to identify new areas for industrial development, for economic activity and for residential as well. Our responsibility as an authority is to create that environment that would make it attractive for people to invest in the new city. This is the time to take advantage of the giant strides that government is trying to make in providing a livable city and do proper planning so that we can have a city that will breathe, a city that will be vibrant and regenerate not only for us, but also for future generations.
there's a new wave of energy flowing through Port Harcourt. There are new opportunities waiting to be tapped. Change is here. Change births new possibilities. Possibilities inspire. And inspiration is the fuel for advancement. Um, and in the last few years, yes, there's definitely been a lot of changes in the terms of um, the vibrancy of the city, the vibrancy of the state. It's hopefully, you know, we expect more visitors to come visit the state and see the changes actually happening for themselves. It's going to be a lot better than it is today, but today is a lot better than it was yesterday. It's a city that has redefined itself and has come alive suddenly, that you now see some vibrancy and vitality back in Port Harcourt. I think River State has it all, and um, it's good to encourage more people to build up on this. We love Port Harcourt! Ladies and gentlemen, you are now in the greatest city in the world. Have a great time. I know that many people who come to River State always wish to come back. Port Harcourt is only going to get better. We're building Africa's city of the future. If there's anything that I can tell you, it is this. Nigeria has huge opportunities. If there's one place you should not miss an opportunity of investing in River State, why? Because River State is truly the land of possibilities. And when we talk about possibilities, anything is possible. If you're an investor, you're looking for where to put your money, you're looking for safe returns, and you're looking for something that anywhere in the world would sell, River State is a place. I can assure you, you can't go wrong. Come to River State, that is where your investment is safe. You're welcome. The River State of tomorrow that we are building, it's a rivers of possibilities, it's a rivers of education, it's a rivers of progress. Brimming with opportunities. Port Harcourt is the guided city of Nigeria, and I welcome you to the rivers of possibilities.